Hello everyone, today I'll be going over the t a uh, tutorial on programming the Vex Clawbot. So before we begin, give me a second. Before we begin, um, I have set up the layout of the Vex Clawbot, hopefully. Um, I, I got the, um, hopefully I got this correct. Um, you can add a controller by clicking add device, clicking controller, and clicking done. Um, you can set buttons to set actions, but no, um, I want more options with that. And if you want to add motor, click add device, click motor, click a port that's on, change the name, change the motor cartridge, tell it normal reverse, and there you have it. So we have controller one, left motor, right motor, and claw motor. And we are going to code this in voltage. Um, I know that there are speed, torque, and percentage, but they use the motor's internal PID. And if it uses the motor's internal PID, it would actually throttle down the motor's speed, so it can have a little bit of a buffer, so it can speed up um, the motor if it ever tries to, if it um, ever tries to slow down a little bit. Um, as well as um, it's not as responsive. It's having to go through that PID system to actually reach the motor whenever you actually. Um, activate the like use a joystick so by doing voltage you're getting something more responsive and you're getting the motor to be much faster and that's what we are going to go with um, so let's begin by setting some variables so we have um, double turn valve is equal to controller one dot axis one dot position in percent so this would get the controllers position the the controller's, um, no, no, not controller's position, the joystick position of the first axis, which is the right x-axis. And so if you push the x-axis to the right with your thing, like with your thumb, it would go to a positive value of 100. If you push the value, if you push the joystick to the left, the value would be negative 100. If um, you let go of the joystick, it would have a value of 0. So this is, um, for simplicity, um, to just have turn value. This is just for, um, this is for best for best uh, coding practice. Uh, double forward. Oh dear lord. There we go. I don't know what I coded there, but uh, that was quite weird. Got that fixed. Forward value is equal to controller one dot. Um, we're going to do axis. Three uh, dot position in percent. So now we have that. Um, next, we will be doing. Um, we're going to be converting this into voltage. So it goes from. So a hundred percent would equate to twelve volts because full um, max percentage of a hundred should be the max of voltage of 12. So what we are going to do is do double turn volts turn volts is equal to turn val times 0.12. This would convert it into voltage and we and for to do a forward voltage double forward volts is equal to forward val times 12. All right now we have that so we're going to apply these to the motors. So we're going to do left motor dot spin. We're going to do forward, and we are going to be doing um, forward volts minus turn volts, and then voltage. Gosh, voltage units volt, and then we're going to do right motor dot spin forward. Forward volts minus oh sorry plus turn volts voltage units volts and then and that so this would be our this would be the best way to code your um your drivetrain in regards to um the motor speed and its um and its reliability this is much better than doing spinning for a speed percentage or torque. Um, I will guarantee you that if you drive, you would realize that this is very, very fast. This is very, 
very um, reliable and is very, very quick at response. Um, so this is what I would do f if you are a beginner. Now, what we want to do now is we want to, um, what you would realize is, let's, let's say you are going forward a value of 12. Let's use a left motor, for example. You're going forward 12 volt. Uh, you're going forward 100%, um, which is 12 volts. And then you are turning to the right. So you're going, turn. you're turning to the right. So you're going 12 minus 12. So you're having this minus this. In the, and then you would realize it's going zero volts. The motor is not moving if you're going for, if you're telling the motor to go forward and turn. And then for, let's use the right motor. Um, you're going forward and then you're turning to the right. So it's going to be plus 12 is equal to 24. But because it's going to be capped, it would be 12. This is not really intuitive. This is not, this is not right. You, you, you see what I'm, you see the problem, right? Um, the motor is going only, it's going 12 on one side and zero on the other, which means you're really not getting that much control when you're going forward and turning. Um, so what we want to do is we want to try to fix that. Um, so in order to do this, I'm going to have to include another thing um, uh, for absolute value because if you do abs uh, something, it, it will only accept integers. So I'm going to have to include that something that would do doubles. So include cmath. We're going to include cmath into this, and this will allow us to do scd abs. Okay. Um, this is for more advanced people, but if you are not as advanced, it would be best to just to just do this because it would seriously help you much better. Um, I'm going to create a settings um, of double turn importance is equal to 0.5. So what I'm going to do is use this to help describe the turn importance. So I am wanting to create something as a multiplier for the um, entire, um, for the forward volts because I don't really like it like um, I'm not the biggest fan of this what, what's happening here so what I'm going to do for the forward volts is I'm going to um, multiply it I'm going to multiply it by um, by turn volts by a specific amount um, the main reason why I included that thing is so I can do STD abs turn volts. So I can do this without having an error. Um, so I do SCD abs uh, turn volts and then I will be multiplying this by uh, give me a second by um, where is it? Mm, by, sorry, by turn importance. So we have that, and we're going to do 1 minus that of turn importance. Let me double check that this is right. No, it is not right. So I'm going to have to divide this by 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to have to divide this by 12 volts. So what this does is if if turn volts is um, 12, then it would divide by 12 and it would equate to 1. So it'd be 1 minus 1. But I have this turn importance here, so um, I can change the sensitivity of how much effect I want this to be. So I'll do 1 minus this times turn importance. So what this would do is as you're going forward, um, if you, as you're going forward, if you're turning, it would actually um, change this so um, it, it would turn this 12 right here. As we can see, turn importance is 0.5. So it would change that so this would be equate, the, the forward would be actually equating to 6. And then this would be equating to 6. So this would change and it would actually turn into uh, negative 6 and this would go 
to um, to um, what is it? 18, which goes to 12. So this would give you a little bit more importance. This would give you a little bit more control on turning. So if you were to change this to 1, this turn importance to 1, that would actually turn this into 0, this to 0, and this would go negative 12, and that goes to 12. So you can change the importance of turning for the forward, in which if you turn, it will um, make the uh, forward value be less important. Um, hopefully that makes sense. This is now this. Now this is literally the best way you can ever program a drivetrain. This is called the. Um, it, it's it's um taking some respect from that cheesy. It's called the cheesy drive made by the cheesy poofs from FRC team from the FRC team, and this is the best way that I would suggest programming your drivetrain.